Welcome back. This is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And our antenna testing has been delayed because of the weather, and I don't dare hook up any of my radios to my antennas because of the weather. So we're just kind of looking for some general information for my viewers. And about three or four days ago, um, this group, the HFCC, which is used to develop and coordinate shortwave broadcast in that they uh, accept schedule updates from the international broadcasters and then they check to see if there's any interference between different broadcast stations and notify them if there is and then they publish twice a year uh, updated schedule and a lot of your schedules that are on the internet in various places such as and I'll go to one here shortwave-info and another one is primetime they get their information one of the places they get their information is from these databases that HFCC outputs they put out one at the end of March and I think another one at the end of October for the two seasons basically when daylight savings starts and it's reversed and I don't like it but that's the way it is so anyway so they have now the new one which was released a couple of days ago it's under public data files and you can either use their interactive schedule um, their schedules by organization files that they have that you can download the schedules here so those are all available and like I say some of these other websites use these schedules as one of their inputs for the schedules they release so need to get out there and uh, either update any of your schedules you've gotten elsewhere or download these most recent schedules from HFCC directly so just thought I'd let you know about that so you know what's happening on shortwave because they do change what the international broadcast stations do is they do change their frequencies and the time that they broadcast at these two periods during the year because as it gets into the spring and summer the higher bands are not as good as the lower bands so a lot of the stations will switch to their lower band transmitters and vice versa in the winter so that's it that's the information if you enjoyed this or got any value out of this show please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed that'd be nice too have a great day avoid the rain <laughs> bye bye